Hey everybody! Well, we just had some technical problems, of course, as usual here at Baylina Productions, and thanks a lot, YouTube, for completely screwing me out of one of my only chances to do something right for once! So, everybody! Oh, it also doesn't help that there's like lawnmowers and dogs barking. This is just been a disaster so far! So, anyway, hey everybody, welcome to Steve's live Q&A. I am, of course, Steve, and I'm here to answer all the questions that my lovely subscribers, fans, the pod, all have to ask. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am Steve. I'm the guy behind all the videos on this channel, such as Sonic Zombies, Sonic and Jaws, Sonic is Scared Stupid, the Christmas with Sonic series. And whether you're a new person coming from Christmas with Silver, or Sonic Zombie the finale being angry that there's never going to be another Sonic Zombie again, or whether you've been a fan since the beginning, Steve's Q&A has been a time-honored tradition for many, many, many years. And uh, I'm going to be trying to do a, a Q&A every single month for 2017. So how it works is that in a couple minutes, I'm going to be uh, answering your questions that you guys have, uh, as you guys can all see your lovely selves on the stream. And for 30 minutes, I'll be answering questions. And hey, Beck, hey, Christina, hey, and uh, Andres Lopez, and everybody else that's in here that's regulars. So yeah, whew, that was a tough start. Uh, had a lot of problems 10 minutes late, but hey, it's better than uh, late than never, I guess they say. So. Um, everybody, go ahead and start answering your questions, but before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that the channel is not dead, of course, uh, Sonic and Scared Stupid 3 is going to be coming, uh, relatively soon, probably before May, hopefully, and, um, about the whole, I'm gonna be at two events this year thing, uh, I'm possibly three, uh, I'm gonna, I was, I'm, I might be at WonderCon, that, that may have changed a little bit, but, you know, nothing, you know, like, final that I'm not gonna be there. Sonic Revolution, of course, I'll be there if you guys want to see the, see me there. And finally, for you Canadians, there's a pretty good chance I'm actually going to be at um, Fan Expo this year. Not sure. So, yeah. All right. So I'm going to start the timer after I answer the first question, and then we'll have 30 minutes from there. So you guys can ask me just about anything. Just try to keep it, you know, friendly. There's no reason to ask me really disgusting questions. Uh, so... <laughs> Anyway, let's take a look at what questions we've got here. All right, you know what? I see the first question, and I'm going to answer that right now, and we're going to start the timer. So somebody asks, I didn't see who it was, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, Steve, why did you end Sonic Zombies? Well, to be very honest with you, the reason why I end Sonic Zombies was because I was basically done with it. There wasn't really uh, much uh, in terms of more things I could do with the series. I feel that I ended it just right. Um, I didn't leave anybody on a cliffhanger. I gave you a satisfying conclusion. And to be honest with you, there's just too many of them. I was just creating them because I felt like I had to, and that's never a good thing for a content creator. So uh, I wanted to move on to uh, other things, like uh, fully animated things, as you guys have seen with the Sonic and Scared Stupid 3 preview. So yes, uh, Sonic Zombies is uh, done, and it's never, ever coming back. So apologies if you uh, stay here for it, but hey, you're always free to unsubscribe. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry about the music, guys, I just turned it down. That should be, okay. God, is it really that loud? Oh, I see why it's so loud. <laughs> Technical difficulties, as usual. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, hmm. Let's see. Shark Tale, am I still working on Sonic and King Kong? Yes and no, but you'll have to find out, uh, uh later, at a later time, so... I know I said I wouldn't. I was never going to announce anything again, but it's not necessarily an announcement. Just saying, it's not dead, basically. Um, Andre, Andres, uh, how excited am I for the Switch? I'm very excited. Uh, my only uh, real issue with it is that um, the launch titles are just not really strong. Uh, um, I just feel like I, I know everybody's excited for Zelda, but it's like that's not one thing alone. Um, to get people to buy a system. I was hoping they were going to do a lot of Wii U ports. Like, I would have loved to have seen uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Mario 3D World, uh, and so on. Uh, but I'm excited. I pre-ordered mine. I'm ready to get it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Qballer82, what made me buy an Xbox One? I did not buy an Xbox One. The Xbox One was a gift. Um, I wanted an Xbox One just because uh, I, I wanted to... Um, uh, I, this year, I'd like to change my attitude about just just PC stuff. PC gaming will always be my primary platform because it truly is the best platform. There's really no arguing against that, 
especially now that the um, consoles you have to install your games as soon as you get them, which is absolute garbage. But I got, I want to get a, I have an Xbox One, I want to get a Nintendo Switch, and I want to uh, get a PS4 for my birthday, hopefully. And I'd like to have, like, a more expanded gaming taste, because right now I just feel like I'm always um, kind of sticking to one genre, which is usually medieval fantasy. But it'd be nice if I could have something a little, you know, more in tune with, um, like, how, uh, like, a lot of other YouTubers and big, you know, uh, gamers that they have, like, they have all. They don't choose one. And I really like that uh, philosophy. So, uh, thank you for that question. Am I excited for Sonic Mania? Asks Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course I am, baby. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? Oh, I know. The salty modern Sonic fans. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, let's see. Snoot Snoot. Do I use iPhone or Android? I am a very proud Android user. I personally cannot stand Apple products. I have a Google Pixel XL, and it is the greatest phone I have ever owned. I absolutely love it. Um, let's see. Hey, Baylina, Cubic CO. Hey, man. Uh, let's see, Lawrence TV, who, who are my favorite YouTubers? Um, Jontron, Oni NG, especially Oni Plays, those are hilarious. Uh, hmm, who else do I like? I, well, obviously I like Alexander the Swell, he's just fantastic. Um, I also really like Red Letter Media, they're hilarious, so. Um, I, I'm sure there's other ones, oh, and Boogie298, I really like him. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, Gregster, thoughts on Mario Odyssey, Breath, Breath of the Wild, and Splatoon. Um, Mario Odyssey took me completely by surprise. I uh, couldn't believe that something so like fantastic would be um, announced for the Switch. I thought that they were gonna when they did another Mario game, they were gonna do it very safe. They were gonna do it very much just Mario 3D World again. And I really love Mario 3D World and I love Mario 3D Land, but they um, they like, I, I really like when gaming franchises don't stick to just one formula. So I really prefer it when it's uh, they try something a little different. You know, that's one of the reasons why I really like Sonic is because they don't stick to one formula. So uh, <laughs> Giovanni Eklentar, uh thoughts on Trump being president. Uh, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Oh, he's going to be a fantastic president. This is totally not a big business deal for all of his friends. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Estella, is there a date for Sonic Revolution? Uh, uh, what date is Sonic Revolution? I don't know. It's not uh, completely in stone just yet. Uh, I just know that they invited me last year. I had an amazing time. I met so many of you guys, and it was amazing. So uh, I hope to go again. And Voodoo Raisins, hey, uh, do I prefer physical or digital copies of games? Me, personally, I, I, it, it's, it's just, oh, am I only coming in the left ear? Uh-oh. <laughs> More technical difficulties. Thank you for pointing that out, by the way. Uh-oh, that's not good. Um, one second, please. Eh. Oh, man. Oh, how do you downsample the stereo again? Oh, wait, 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 there it is. Okay, that should be better. I am so sorry about that, guys. We are, um, first Q&A is going to be a rocky one. Anyway, so do I like uh, physical or digital copies of games? Okay, the thing is, is that I usually prefer digital, but only when it is a, um, a account system. So, for example, like with Steam, no matter where I go, no matter what I do, I'll always have my games. I can go to my friend's house, install my games, and play them. I can go, uh, I can completely lose my computer, but I wouldn't lose my games. But I still do like getting the boxes. I like the smell. I like the feel. Um, <laughs> it kind of sucks because I, I bought th three Xbox games so far, and I was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to put the disc in, and I'm going to play it. And then it's like, no, you got to install it. It's, okay, I guess I'll install it, and I guess maybe that's a good thing. I don't have to use the disc anymore. But no, it's like if you install the game on the Xbox One, you still need the disc, and that's insane. You made me install this game, and I got to put the disc in too? Pick one. But yeah, I, I love having physical games, but it's I like having them all on my account. Like, so with Nintendo Switch, it's kind of like, it would have been nice if I could put Donkey Kong and Mario in the Wii U, and it's like, okay, those are on your account, now you can play them on your Switch, but that's a smart thing, and, you know, as we know all these days, businesses are not smart at all. Um, let's see, uh, 
Okay, here's a good one. Uh, Rimus2002. Or Rimus. I'm sorry, I butchered names. I'm horrible with names, by the way. Uh, what got me into Sonic animations? You know, that's a big question people ask me is who who inspired you and 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 who do you model yourself off of you guys got to remember i've been around since 2008 and back then nobody did what i do now i know you guys have a ton of laundry list of these other sonic youtubers that do what i do but there was nobody back then i basically was just inspired to create and entertain that's really where my roots come from it has nothing to do with um like trying to be other YouTubers. And that's the thing is that a lot of, you know, younger YouTubers are like, oh, I want to be like so and so. And that's great to have aspirations and stuff like that. But uh, you should probably try to be yourself. A lot of people ask, oh, I, I want to be a YouTuber because I want to be famous. And I, or in the worst, even worse is when they want to be rich. You'll never get there unless you're a pranking butthole. So, uh, you, you shouldn't make a YouTube unless you've got your own personal... Uh, you got to have something that nobody else has. You can't just go and emulate Sonic Zombies. You just can't go and, and rip this off and rip that off. And I'm going to be the exact same for... Like a Kobanamari, you know, everybody tries to copy him. And it's like nobody's as successful as him. Look at him. He's got a million subscribers. I mean, come on. It's probably more than that. I haven't seen it in a while. So... Anyway, yeah, basically nobody really inspired me personally. I mean, I have my voice actors that have inspired me, like Maurice LaMarche, Jess Harnell, Rob Paulson, you know, Jim Cummings. And then uh, Sonic is just inspiring by itself. So, anyway. Um, oh, okay, Dr. Hacknick. Am I concerned about rumors that Sonic comics are coming to an end? Yes! I know I've said on multiple occasions that I don't like the Sonic comics, but here's the thing, is that you got to remember that I came from, like, the old days, like, with Ken Penders and the really strange art styles and stuff like that. And uh, I just don't really like those kind of comics. But then I've been shown recent ones written by Ian Flynn. Apparently, they did a whole reboot, and damn, that guy can write Sonic. Like, it makes me look bad. Um, and then I got Sonic Mega Drive, and oh, man, they just nailed it. And if they don't finish Mega Drive, that's going to suck. So, yeah, um, I, I mean, I hope you comic fan, fans are, you know, going to be okay, but sucks. Um, Super MS, films I'm looking forward to in 2017. <laughs> Not much. Um, basically, Planet of the Apes, maybe Star Wars. Oh, I do like Transformers, I know. Everyone's like, what? You, how can you like the popular... How can you... How can you disagree with the popular opinion that those movies are horrible? But, you know, I, uh... I quite like uh, the Transformers. Hey, let me just explain. I like the first one. I like the end of the third one. And I do like the fourth one. The second one is just worthless. But whatever. I mean, I, I'm just a sucker for Peter Cullen. You know what I mean? And then my, my Frank Walker's Megatron. Come on, baby. Uh, but yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't answer that one. Sorry. Uh, oh, uh, Nakami. Uh, which country would I like to travel to? Actually, I really have my heart set on going to New Zealand sometime. I'd like to spend like maybe two weeks there. I'd like to do all the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit like tour. And then I'd like to go uh, snorkeling with killer whales. That'd be really cool. Um, other countries I'd like to go to. I mean, I'd like to see Italy once. And uh, I wanted to go to Japan until they got rid of Back to the Future the Ride. So that place is kind of useless now because I'm not into sushi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that those are places I'd like to go. Um... Uh, King Riku, really quick. Hugo Weaving was Megatron in the th first three parts, but uh, now they're getting Frank Walker to do it because he was Galvatron in the last movie. So, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Quentin TQ, thoughts on the Mario and Sonic series? Um, I'm not really into party games like that. Like, to me, that's, that's the kind of game that sits on the shelf for a Wii that, like, four-year-olds play at their grandmother's house it's not really an engaging game that uh you know you can really play and enjoy and it doesn't help for me personally that there's no japanese voice option so i don't want to hear yeah i'm gonna throw a javelin <laughs> you know and so i'm good um i mean they're not horrible games it's just they they feel you know what mario and sonic games feel like a game you'd get with a mcdonald's happy meal i guess so <laughs> uh I'm such a jerk. Okay, this is a good one. Creative name, Team Fortress 2 or Overwatch? Let me just let me just say this, okay? I'm not a big fan of Team Fortress 2, but not because I think it's bad or anything. It's just, for me, I'm not very good at it, and I also just feel like it's just kind of 
formulaic, I guess. I mean, Overwatch is too, but um, I like Overwatch a lot. I love the characters. I love the gameplay. I love Reinhardt stuff. But here's the thing. Team Fortress 2 and, and Overwatch are not games to compare. They're not the same at almost at all. Uh, Team Fortress 2 is very much a comedy, like, and it's really, I love the Team Fortress 2 art style, like, crazy. And I love the aesthetic. I love, I think it's like the 1940s kind of thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it is. And Overwatch is just a completely different game. They're both wonderful games. There's no reason to compare them. I mean, Team Fortress 2 is great. Overwatch is great. They're both, they're, they're great games. I just, I'm not very good at Team Fortress 2, and so I don't enjoy playing it. So, it's really that simple. Um, let's see. Uh, they don't have voice acting in the Mario and Sonic series. Yes, they do. <laughs> you can hear them every time you do something. Uh, am I getting Sonic Mania? Says is uh, Slay. Of course I am. Of course I already got the collector's edition of the of the PC version pre-ordered and ready to go. Um, I actually am probably gonna get the Switch version too. Uh, let's see. Uh, Super Static Pro. Uh, wh what games would you like to see on the Switch that haven't been announced? Like, what would you personally want to see? Okay. I really, really want them to port uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze because that is my favorite platformer of, like, the past, like, 10 years. It's really, really good. Um, and I want to get rid of my Wii U. It's dead weight at this point. Um, but I don't want to get rid of it because I really like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So I'd like to see either a new entry in the series, and hopefully King K. Rule would be the uh, bad guy again, or I'd also like to see them uh, port it over. Uh, I guess in terms of other things, I wouldn't mind a Super Smash Brothers port um, with the Japanese voice option attack would be really nice. Um, or Classic Sonic because he wouldn't say anything. And um, I I don't know. I just, I like when Nintendo surprises us. So, yeah. All right. I guess that's it. Uh, hmm. I don't know why you guys are asking me about Project 2017 like I know something. I don't. Uh, I, in case you guys don't know, I am not the creator of Sonic. <laughs> if I was, it'd be good. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> uh, oh, BG film Sonic and the Unreal Engine. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be really, really, really nice, actually. Um, I like the Hedgehog Engine and stuff, but it'd be nice to have like a Sonic game that looks like amazing. Even though, you know, Sonic Unleashed and Generations, they look great. But like, I want like that 4K textures, like next gen looking Sonic game. Um, let everybody know, we got 15 minutes left for questions. We're about halfway through this uh, thing, so keep asking away. You guys got plenty of questions. Um, oh, Stephen Jones, what are my thoughts on the potential uh, Jurassic World survival game? I am pretty excited for that, only because have you guys seen the models and stuff? Uh, I am really looking forward to when that game comes out, because then I can get those models for myself. Um, I wonder what I can use them for. Mm hmm? But um, I just, I, everybody's like, what do you want it to be? What do you want it to be? And I'm like, I just want it to be good. It'd be nice if it was a, it, apparently it was supposed to be like a survival game, like H1Z1 and stuff. But that'd be great if it wasn't like garbage like H1Z1. It'd be nice if like you were just trying to survive in the jungle and there's dinosaurs and that'd be great. I don't care. I just want it to be good. Just, just please be fun. Don't be Jurassic Park the game by Telltale, please. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, and again, Nakami, uh, what, uh, languages do I speak? I speak American. Thanks very much. Uh, no, just English. That's it. Uh, I'd like to learn Italian. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> MCPE Gaming, me, uh, what game do I hate the most? All right. This is going to be done. Oh, wait, wait, really quickly. Snooper Kid. I'm going to answer yours right after. Worst game I've ever played is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. That game quickly just, I actually almost quit Sonic over that game. That game is horrible. And Snoopy, do I play Ark? Of course I play Ark. I play, I have 1,400 hours logged into Ark. In fact, if you guys have Ark Survival Evolved on PC, I own my own server. It's for Baylina Productions fans and Pixel Brains fans. You guys are more than welcome to come in. Just DM me on Twitter, add me on Discord. By the way, that's all coming at the end anyway. Play with us. We need more people in our server. It's a really great server. You guys will love it. Just please, if you have Ark on PC, play. <laughs> uh... Alberto, uh, Sonic or Elder Scrolls? Okay. Oblivion is my favorite game of all time. But it's not what I consider to be the best game of all time. There's a difference. See, to me, your favorite game 
doesn't have to be the best game of all time. To me, the most well-crafted game of all time is Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. That is a crazy good game. But Oblivion's my favorite. Oblivion really changed the way I game and stuff like that. So, um... I don't really want to say I choose one. I mean, I definitely like Sonic more because, you know, he's a big part of my life. And obviously I do um, Sonic videos. But Oblivion is still my favorite game of all time. Just completely. Uh, <laughs> the Fantastic Marshmallow Man. Do I own a gun? Nah. I got my fists. I I mean, I, I'm, I'm not really going to get into gun politics or anything. I mean, you know, I, I think everybody has a right to have one in their house and whatever. And you know, I don't want people walking around carrying them. But... Uh, I'm personally somebody that says if you have to pull a gun out, you've basically already lost the fight because you, you're you using a tool. You're not using, you know, I, I know how to fight. So, you know, hey, Alyssa, how Sonic and Scared Stupid 3 coming along? It's coming along very good. I haven't animated it since uh, before Christmas with Silver, but I plan to ramp up uh, animating again next month. I'm probably going to stream it here so you guys can see it because I think that's at least what you guys deserve is uh, for waiting and being so patient about it is that you can at least see some of it while it's being animated. Uh, it's coming along great. Um, I've got a lot of cool scenes animated. You guys are not going to believe this is the future of Baylina Productions is this kind of video. Fully animated, fully voice acted, fully written. There's no stupid Sonic zombie fart jokes, hooba dooba and all that other stuff. And I appreciate those videos, but you know, you guys got to remember, like, I'm a storyteller first. Sonic and Jaws came way before Sonic Zombies. Anyway, Christina Bergeraff. Hi, Christina. Uh, what advice do you have on handling depression? I get depression. You know, people act like, oh, I'm a big YouTuber, so I never have anything to worry about. But in fact, I do. I have a lot of depression. I have a lot of, I've, I've had a pretty rough, uh, you know, past. So uh, for me, dealing with depression is not, is not a defeat. It's, 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 you got to just do it. You just got to. Be sad, you know, be depressed, watch a sad movie, listen to sad music, get it out of you. If you, if you, if you hold it in for so long, it's just going to eat you alive. Get over it. Like not, not like a, Oh, get over it, baby or anything like that. But just like, if you can just embrace being depressed because then you'll get better faster because then you'll get bored of being sad and you'll be happy again. I mean, me personally, I deal with depression in many different ways. Uh, I like to swim. I like to just go outside and stare at the stars. I like to go to Disneyland. I know everybody can't afford that or anything like that. But um, I just really just try to just embrace it and relax and and just see the way th the world for the way it is. And, and you know what? I'm a guy who's had it really rough. And I can tell you this. You can get out of any situation you want as long as you try. The only person in this world that can stop you is you. That's it. No one controls you. No one has any anything to say to you you're your own person don't make time for people that don't like you make time for people that love you because they matter more because they liked you from the beginning and they didn't need any convincing so there you go 16-bit blur will i do more jurassic park projects absolutely i really 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 want to do more uh, uh jurassic park videos um if those models ever come out from that canceled game that's now back uh then i will absolutely do more uh yeah Man with a plan, can I do macho man? Man, you gotta snip and do a slim gym. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Firebird Phoenix, what's my opinion on Ken Penders? Funny story about Ken Penders. Um, when we went to Sonic Revolution, uh, when we got in the elevator, he was uh, in the elevator, and I was trying so hard not to go. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't. I, he can't draw. That's for sure. So, uh, yay, I guess. <laughs> Uh, techno, do I like Marvel? No, I don't like superheroes. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to not like Star Wars either. So <laughs> it's just, it's, that's all it is. It's just pop culture is just superhero and, uh, Star Wars. There's nothing in between. Every time I go to a convention or, uh, or like a store and I'm like, yeah, you guys got any, uh, Jurassic Park stuff? They're like, what's that? <laughs> so, uh, hmm. Let's see here. What else we got? We got uh, about less than 10 minutes left, guys. Uh, <laughs> Bex, I should have punched Ken Penders in the back of the head. Because now, especially with all those comics, I mean, he's such a butthole. Should have got Vegeta to do it. Oh, Kakarot, we have to destroy Ken Penders. Oh. <laughs> okay. Purple Kitty, thank you so much for the support. Uh, do I like Apple? I just said earlier, no. I don't like Apple. I mean, I like the fruit, but I don't like the company. Ugh, garbage products. 
<laughs> how do I do the Macho Man voice? Well, I just step in, scrum, and do it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. How do I do any voice? I just open up my mouth and just stuff comes out of it. It's like puking. <laughs> hey, Baxter Smith, what's my favorite food? Uh, it sucks because I don't have a favorite food because I like food so much. But I guess if I have to pick, it's it's probably going to be uh, barbecue chicken right now. Because it might always change. Last year it was pizza, and then the year before that, steak, and then chicken wings. I really like, I make a crazy good barbecue chicken. I make a dish, like I, I like to call it a Dago, Dago Gumbo. Because it's made with um, this rice that um, it, uh, Italian immigrants in New York did. Because uh, Italian immigrants and Asian immigrants got along really well in New York City. Because, you know, they're both getting, you know, hate upon. So they, the, the Asians would give the Italians rice and the Italians would put eggs and Parmesan cheese and butter in it. Now, my mom used to make me that for me a lot when I was a kid. I loved it. But then I started mixing it up <clears throat> with barbecue chicken. Oh, it's so good. So I make a big pot of rice and some barbecue chicken. It's a Dago gumbo. huh? So, uh, oh yeah. Andres was in the bathroom with Ken Penders. <laughs> he should have chopped off his dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh, Calhag, what do I look like? Well, if you've ever seen Shrek, that's exactly what I look like. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, uh, do I not like Telltale Games? Mm, no. <laughs> it's, it's just, their games are so static. They can't get, um, they can't get lip sync right. That's for sure. Um, and they just... Uh, Chase, to have, well, I'll do a face reveal. There's plenty of pictures of me online. You guys should follow me on Twitter. I post pictures of me. I have pictures of me in full body with Sonic, with with a Sonic Halloween shirt and 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 everything. You guys, that's not a mystery. I'm just some some big dumpy Dago. Like it's not like, ugh, like the million tuner. Can we get a? You're gonna be fine, donkey. Well, let me tell you, tuner. Did somebody die? Because I'm not dead. I told you you'd be fine, tuner. <laughs> Here comes the Sonic Zombie people. <gasps> Bring it back! <laughs> uh, okay, Mini Sanukun. What PC games do I play? Primarily right now, I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved. Like, I, do, I won't get off of it. Uh, I knew that when I came home from Christmas, I was just going to take the rest, of, um, the rest of January off and just bum around and play Ark. And I'm having so much fun. We just opened the new server. Everybody, please play. Uh, please, just... Do it. How about this? How about this? Do it for Senpai Steve. Huh? Huh? All you ladies out there? All you other guys out there? Come play for Senpai Steve. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> and Bex, you can raid my house anytime. But, um... You know what, Nakame, what's my dream? You know, I used to look up at the stars every night and just... And just... I got excited for my future because I didn't know what I was going to have in store. And for me, I'm kind of living the dream, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I have everything I want and I, and I, and I, and I, and I'm, I, I think I'm a good person. I, I kind of live life by a philosophy of just, you know, forget about your worries and your strife. Yeah. I took the bare necessities to heart and I have a ton of great followers. Like my pod, you guys are the pod, man. Like there's no reason why I, I, I can't say I'm living the dream right now. I mean, ultimately, I'd like to be a steady Hollywood voice actor, but, you know, that's the fun part. The fun part is working for your dreams. When you get there, it's great, but working for it's the fun part. You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'll never be this and I'll never be that. You're never going to be anything because you doubt yourself. You've got so much potential. This is a huge world. I mean, unless you're like, you know, living in like a mud hut somewhere. Well, then, I, you know, you don't even have the internet, so you don't even know water anyway. So it's just kind of like you got to just, it's just so strange because like people like you're going to look at, well, of course he says that he's got 400,000 subscribers. You know, I'm like, yeah, but I did. I, at one point I didn't have any. So it's just about go out there and be somebody. <laughs> um, oh, some, somebody asked, why did I delete my Skype? Cause Skype sucks. Discord is just better in every other way. Uh, and everyone's like, Oh, well, what about, uh, webcams? It's coming. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. Um, okay, Latilio, uh, okay, Lalitos Valbolos. I'm sorry about that, man. Uh, why do I really like Ryan Drummond as the voice of Sonic? Um, 
Okay, I know everybody likes Roger Craig Smith, and a, a lot of people like Jason Griffith, and that's cool. Like, everybody just get, has to learn. When I say I like something, I don't, I'm not crapping on everybody else's opinion. It's just, to me, Ryan Drummond's the only guy that actually made Sonic sound like a three-foot-tall hedgehog. Um, I didn't like Jaleel White when I was a kid. I didn't like Martin Burke. Um, I, I, um, I, I've heard Ryan Drummond, and I'm like, that's it. <laughs> uh, Jason Griffith, to me, was just too much like Barney. Oh, hey, kids, let's count to three. And then, of course, Roger's just, uh... You know, yeah, I'm young, I promise, I swear. <laughs> Almost like Donald Trump. Uh, I should do, like, Sonic Zombie reads uh, Donald Trump quotes. Uh, Happy New Year to all my enemies. But just to me, Ryan Drummond, just he, he also loves being Sonic. Like, even though they've treated him like crap, like, three times, he'd still come back and do it. Not because he's desperate or anything. He has steady work as a wonderful singer. But because he loves the character. And, yeah. John Matsu. Any chances of Sonic and JP coming back? Jurassic Park. Follow me on Patreon. Uh, that's all I could say. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have about two minutes left. So We have a little less than three minutes. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. How do I make the voices for Sonic Zombies? Well, it's very simple. I go, <gasps> hey, guys. I just, I get, I just, it, they're just voices. People think I use a voice changer, but a voice changer doesn't change your entire voice. It just ups and downs your pitch and stuff like that. So, um, let's see. Uh, what do I think of the Nintendo Switch hate? Some things I'm hearing are a little dumb. Some people are complaining about the price of the controller. I mean, the only legit criticism I have is that the online shouldn't be so messed up and the launch titles are bad. So, but you know, hey, everybody's entitled to whatever they want to think, you know. Uh, what's the hardest voice for me to do? Oh, that's a good question. Um, hmm. Jeez. Probably going to have to say Eggman because I try my best not to sound too much like Mike Pollock, but sometimes it goes into that because I do that impression so much on Pixel Brains that it's sometimes blends in i really tried hard in christmas with silver not to sound like that but i think sometimes it slipped through so uh, who's my favorite dragon ball z character um i'm gonna be boring and say goku uh i really like goku i think he's a cool guy uh i share his appetite that's for sure <laughs> uh let's see hmm what game series do you like other than Nintendo and Elder Scrolls and stuff? Oh, I'm a big fan of the Warcraft series. I uh, really love World of Warcraft. Um, I also love Conquer. And... I think that's it. Okay, so... I've got time for one more question. Uh, just one. Unless you beg for more. No, really. Just one, just one more question. Hmm... Here's a good one to end off on. Zane the Hedgehog. What are my expectations of Sonic 2017? Okay. <sighs> How am I going to say this without upsetting people? I don't think it's going to be very good. Um, and that's not because I'm, you know, a pessimist about it. I really did like Sonic Generations. But here's the problem. I, from what they've shown, it just feels like it's going to do... Wait, we already heard this song earlier. Got to skip it. Yeah, there we go. I feel like they're going to just do Sonic Generations again. And that's a problem. They're all, oh, it's not going to be um, uh, a sequel to Sonic Generations. And it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be this, it's not a sequel. And it's just like, well, then why is that all we see? Is It's the same thing. Um, I have faith that they're going to make Classic Sonic better this time. But I don't necessarily know if they're going to, like, if me, I was really hoping they were going to just do a Sonic Adventure controls, not like, you know, I'm not saying like, oh, it needs to be Sonic Adventure 3, because that's that's a stupid thing to hope for. It's not happening, and it's not that you're stupid. It's not that you're stupid for hoping for it. It's just people are just so they, like, a, a name isn't going to save this franchise, guys. But I hope Project 2017 is good. I want to be wrong about it, but, you know, I, I mean, it's just, that's just what I expect. Until we hear other things, I just, that's just what I feel. It's not going to be great. But I want to be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong, and good luck, Sonic 2017, but Mania is probably going to outsell you 3 to 1. Okay, guys, so that's enough questions for today. I'm sorry if you didn't get your question answered, but hey, hey don't panic. If you still want to get your questions answered, there's some ways you could do that. The first way you could do is you can directly email me at baylinaproductions at gmail.com. 
Uh, I know it's it, it used to be Stephen Page three at Gmail. That's gone. It's deleted. It's, it's over. But the Baylina Productions Gmail, you can ans- ask me anything you guys want. If you have any comments, criticisms, if you need to tell me something, that's fine. The next one is what I really hope for is that you guys will follow me on Twitter. I love Twitter. I tweet all the time. I really, really, really like Twitter, and it's kind of sucks because I I have like kind of a small follower count for my YouTube status. I guess if you have to be that way. Um, then the next one you could do is Discord, which is a direct way to talk to me. You guys can IM me all, anytime you want, as long as I'm on, of course, I'll answer your questions. And the cool part is that I also have a Baylina Productions Discord channel. A whole chat, 24-7, all the time. You guys can chit-chat. I go in mics uh, whenever I feel like it. Uh, that's Baylina Productions. Uh, uh, pound sign for me, an older guy. 8939, because it's a hashtag. And then finally is the Facebook, which is kind of on its way out because Facebook is absolutely garbage because they want you to pay to uh, do stuff, which is dumb. So Facebook.com slash Baylina Productions. Then you guys also can do the Patreon thing. You know, uh, just in case you guys don't know, a single dollar gets you into my Patreon, but I'm not going to plug that all the time. Finally, if you guys actually want to send me something physical, like a letter, a lot of fans send me letters. Um, or a package sometimes I get. You can send it to Stephen Page at P.O. Box 653, uh, Placentia, California, 92871. If you guys plan to send me a package, please let me know and send a tracking number because I don't check this thing all the time unless I know I'm going to get something. So if you guys do want to send me something physical, please let me know first. All right, guys. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining for the first of, I promise, many Steve Q&As. I'm going to do one every single month for 2017. You have my word. If you have a promise, it's going to be fantastic. Everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. Sonic Zombie knows it. Everybody. So thank you guys so much for joining Steve's live Q&A. I hope you had a good time. Answered so many questions. Shout out to all of my friends. Bex. You got Christina. You got Super Static Andres. Everybody, you guys are fantastic. I don't deserve such a great pod, friends, fans, and everybody. And I, I purposely didn't advertise my Tumblr because Tumblr is an absolute garbage hole. So, <laughs> hey, but a lot of people like to ask me questions on Anonymous, so it makes them feel better. I guess you could do that if you want. So, everyone, have a great night. Have a great, uh, is there a holiday coming up? Uh, oh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I'm expecting a lot of... Uh, valentine's day stuff because people bug me about san amy every five minutes um so just keep tuned to Bay Leader productions you guys should follow me on social media if you want to know where i'll be when i'll be all the time again you guys can add me on discord and talk to me whenever you feel like it so you guys have a great night and i'll see you soon <laughs>